Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what are stored procedures. Stored procedures are nothing but a query or set of queries which performs a specific task. Say whenever I want to find the department with number of employees I need to write this query and this query gets compiled and then gets executed for each and every call if I write this query. Now what is that I can do? I can make a stored procedure of this query and I can compile and keep it so that whenever we need to execute this task I can call a stored procedure. It is similar to a method in C sharp or a function in C. Function is nothing but which performs a specific task. A function in C is nothing but set of statements which performs a specific task. In the same way stored procedure in SQL Server is nothing but query or set of queries which performs a specific task. Now I'll take this query and I'll write a stored procedure for this. Copy this. To create a stored procedure, I need to use create keyword, create proc, proc name, proc name. I'll give the proc name as my sp with no input no output params now why is that I am giving this name just for our understanding I am going to write a stored procedure which does not take any input parameter and it does not return any value I need to say create proc, proc name as and this is my stored proc now I'll execute this. It says that the command completed successfully. Now if I explore the programmability in this stored procedure should find this stored procedure. I got the stored procedure my sp with no input no output parameter. How do I execute this? I'll go to the new query window. I'll use exec keyword to execute this stored procedure. Now I'll execute this. Now this stored procedure got executed and it is giving me the following output. It is very simple. To execute a stored procedure, we need to use exec keyword. And to create a stored procedure, I can simply create it with the help of create proc proc name as so and so. If I want to make any changes then I need to go for altering the stored procedure. Now I'll say alter proc proc name and this time I want to perform sum of salaries. Say sum of e dot e salary as sos sum of salaries and execute this. Now it says that command completed successfully. Now I'll execute this. Now this time I should get sum of salaries. Development department is getting so much of salary and testing department is getting so much of salary. So this is very simple. A stored procedure with no input parameter and no output parameter. It simply returns a table. Thank you very much.